Well, we've got up this morning to a frost and I told you they'd be back. And I think we're due another one tonight as well. So it's that time when we got to start thinking about how to protect any plants that we might have outside of ground or even in greenhouses. If you saw the last video that we put on, we planted out as first crops of 2024, very cold hardy plants, broad beans. But even those can take an hit from frost. And then you're gonna notice a discoloration in the leaves. They're gonna to start to droop down and that's gonna set those plants back. It's not gonna kill your plants outright. It's also not gonna do them any good. So we've come out here today and I've seen little patches of frost in various areas at garden. So we're now thinking, what can we do to help these broad beans? They're only just been planted, so they've not got themselves established yet. So that's when they're at the most vulnerable, apart from slugs. But well, I had a quick look this morning and it's been two days since we planted those and it looks like we haven't got any slug damage. But what I'm gonna do today is offer these plants a little bit of protection from frost and slugs at the same time and it's completely free. That's all we need, old bottles, clear plastic so that they let some sun in but they keep other things out at the same time. And what we need to do with these is just cut the bottoms off and that's going to create a little microclimate for us plants. So a very cold Wednesday morning a job well worth doing so we'll get that done and then as mine's put at rest for as long as we leave these on we know that the slugs can't get to them and neither can that frost so very carefully piercing that bottle it's easy to do it with lid left on that way it doesn't just squash when you try and get your scissors in and there's a little line around the bottoms of these bottles which makes it even easier to just go around cut away that bottom and there we go, we've got a little mini greenhouse. Don't throw these bottoms away as well. We used these last year and they worked really well. This is what we used them for. When we were growing seedlings and there's little pots and we were trying to protect them between now and probably mid spring when it starts to warm up a little bit, these little tops were perfect to just pop on top for us plant pots. Once again, creating a little grow dome, protecting us plants from frost and insects at the same time. So don't throw those bottoms away. They're gonna come in really useful over the next few weeks. I'm gonna crack on and cut the bottoms off the rest of these bottles and then we'll nip out and we'll get these plants fully protected for over the next few weeks. Well, that's all those done. And we've got all those bottoms saved up for another day. So let's pop into other greenhouse and get these plants protected. Just before we go outside, I want to say thank you so much to Eric Pierce, Barbara Ellison and Kevin Jarman for making the donations that you made to the channel. Massively appreciated as always. And that is obviously going to get put back into this channel as we go into the new season. So thank you so much for your generosity. So that's the broad beans that we put in the other day. And you can see that the leaves are thankfully still intact. That one has got a little nibble out of it, but that was done before we brought them out here. Everything else seems fine. If you look at this one, you can see these leaves look slightly darker than that. And this one just happens to be where there's a big gap in greenhouse that I'm going to fill in at some point today so this one has had a little bit of frost and that's what causes those leaves to darken but you can see it's still perfectly happy so now is a good time to offer that protection so one bottle leave them tops on as well they're going to be perfectly fine and all we need to do with these is just put them over the tops of those plants if you have to tuck leaves in a little bit doesn't matter and then I just give it a little twist and it'll keep itself upright then. This plant's got slightly bigger leaves so it's just a case of folding it in and then doing the same thing. 
just push it in like that and you're not going to hurt the leaves by doing that because it's not hot enough at the moment for this to burn any of those leaves if they're touching its side and the same thing with this one it's quite a big plant tuck it in and then stabilize it by giving it a little twist If you're doing this outside then obviously there's a chance that these bottles are going to blow away so the way to combat that is to use a piece of cane and you can just feed it down centre of that bottle avoiding them leaves and then push it into ground and then that bottle won't blow away and then you can just take a little bit of fleece, paper towel, whatever you've got and poke that into that hole at top and that'll stop frost getting in there but if you've got a few pieces of this and you're doing things outside and you can also tie a little bit to top and then that's going to flap around in wind so if you've got any other crops around your plants that's going to put birds off as well. So in your greenhouse or outside, this method works with just a little bit of adjustment. So there we go. That's all those done. It only took a couple of minutes and we've got 100% free frost protection for all those new plants. As we approach February, these are the jobs that we're going to need to be doing. We know that any time between now and even the beginning of May, we could still get bad frosts, even snow. So save up your bottles or ask your neighbours if they've got any spare ones in the recycle bin. They'll be more than happy for you to take them, freeing them up a little bit of space at the same time. And then you can start and create yourself these little mini greenhouses that's going to protect your plants from frost for as long as needs be. So 1st of February tomorrow, and we're moving ever closer towards spring but it's not quite here yet and these little jobs are going to make all the difference to the start of your seasons growing if you're not already part of the channel and want to see what we're going to be doing between now and spring please hit that subscribe button press that notifications bell and i'll see you next time you all take care and stay warm